I forgot again. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I, I, ah, well, wait, you didn't see that. <laughs> um, episode 36, I believe. Again, I forgot again. Um, ah, cat's out of the bag. Okay, so I did a little, uh, reorganizing of the, uh, house here. Killed the ceiling. I'm turning it into basically one big room just because I don't think I need all the space for two floors. At least not now, anyway. Um, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to actually do it in this episode, I believe. Uh, put a floor. Add a little bit of a thicker ceiling. Maybe change the color just so it isn't all all the same. Oh, there's plans. Not, not hard plans, but there's plans. <laughs> wow, look at that. Okay, so I figure, like, we'll come in here, and then maybe there'll be a landing. It's not going to be a floor, it's going to be a landing. That'll stretch all the way around to over here. Make the bedroom over here, kind of like a loft. I'm trying to figure out if I should put, like, support beams down. I'm going to probably do a one huge glass wall here, like an awesome window. I don't like these little wimpy windows. But that's uh, a little bit later. That's later. Hmm. I gotta figure this out. Cause I... Ugh. <laughs> I think it'll be one big window going all the way over here. I'm gonna have to figure out how, what I'm gonna do for a window over here. Ugh. So much to do. And you might have caught a glimpse of it out of the corner of your eye. Or the corner of your screen. But... I made the rail. <laughs> um, almost entirely. It is missing um, a couple of segments at the top. I ran out of gold. And I went and did a little mining and got just enough gold to finish it, I think. I'm now completely out of gold. Again. And I used what I had to make these guys. Um, oh, shoot. All right, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I realized I need regular rail, but I was going to do a little cut here anyway so that I could get to the top and finish it up. So I will be back in a moment. All right, here we are again. <clears throat> again, well, here I am again. <laughs> get a little snack up here, a little snack poo. Really high up, like insanely high. So got these last few to finish. It's the first one time I've ever made one of these, so I didn't know if I needed power rail or this much powered rail. But I figured better safe than sorry. I want this to be fast. I'm not going to use powered rail up here because I don't need to launch myself into the wall. <laughs> I think there'll be enough momentum uh, there to get me there. So, you take the rail up here, and then bam, you're right at the farm. Um... I'm not going to turn down the sounds because I don't expect to be here too long. Die. Die, die. I hate you. I hate you. What's that a reference to? Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Whoa. Let's just calm down. <laughs> I was doing a stream the other day. That's when I built this. And uh, somebody's like, you say buddy a lot. I guess I do. I'm just a friendly guy. Everybody's my buddy. This looks really awesome from up top. I must say, we're going to take a jump here. Look how cool that is. That is just awesome. I love that. I love that. We're going to have trouble. Trouble in Capital City? Oh, sh no, not food. Oh. <laughs> Sword stinks. It's Bane of Arthropods 4 and Looting 2. <laughs> Against uh, spiders, it's a one-hit kill, but... Uh, spiders don't really bother me all that much. Okay. So, let's take a trip. I, I did the math um, as rough as it may be. Um, but it takes about 20 seconds to get from this cart to about 80 blocks up there. I think it's 80. Let me see. Yeah, maybe 90. Um, 
Let's say 80 because the math works better that way. So it takes about 20 seconds. It's 8 blocks per second when I figured it out. Maybe it's 160. I think it's 160. Ah, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about because I figured it out to be that. So 8 blocks per second taking the cart. And when I timed it on a ladder, it was about 2 blocks a second. So much faster, even if it is, you know, kind of screwy looking. So let's take a, let's take a trip. I actually... If I was going to do it right, I'd put a button here and a powered rail here to get me going. I guess I could do that. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, no. I don't know the power of my own pick. Okay, that. That. And then I need a button. Can I make a button? I can't make a button? I need stone for a button. I got... I got wood. I make a wooden button. <laughs> okay, let's place it. Can I not place it? Why can't I place it? What's going on? Who am I? Place it on the side? Was on that? Huh? No wooden buttons? It has to be on the back? <laughs> that makes no sense. Can't just place it on the top? Hmm. Or how about the side? I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Yeah, I can put it on the side. And I'll put that there for now. All right, so let's put the cart there. And then... I can't reach it! <laughs> oh my god. Comedy of errors. Why can't I put buttons on top? I thought you could put buttons on top. What if I did this? What if I did that? And I did that. And I did that. That works. Here I go. Wow. <laughs> it is kind of a trippy view. I look up because uh, I get nauseous if I try to look around. So yeah, this is about 20 seconds, a lot faster than the ladder. And look at that. Momentum got me here the right... No! <laughs> Zoom! Look at it go. Alright, so... I get to take the jump again. I love this jump. Oh, I beat the cart. <laughs> I beat the cart. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Okay. It's funny that the button... Hmm. Whatever. Okay. So I used nether brick and uh, redstone. The redstone was just to power the rail. I could have used a switch. I've seen... At least the one person I saw build this, um, they put a block here, and then they put a lever here, and then they just turned it on so that it was on forever. And that would have been a lot cheaper than this, but I think this is pretty. What else am I going to use all this redstone for? I'm not that crazy builder with redstone. I think that just looks awesome. I love the red against the, the reddish nether brick. Looks pretty darn awesome to me. Where am I going? Oh, yes. I'm going to my house. <laughs> okay. I am going to go into the house, and I'm going to do a little bit of building. And anything in here? Oh, is that broken again? It's been stuck at that one slime ball for a little bit. Uh, not for today. We'll take a look at that later, see if that needs a little work. Okay. So... I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to do a little bit of building, and then I'm going to be right back. Okay. Okay, and reveal. Got me a window. Uh, I wish it didn't have those little white lines, but... <sighs> Nothing I can do about it. It's just the way it is. Might want to add a spruce set of... Uh, half slabs above to match what's below here, but uh, then it's going to mess with the overhang that's part of the natural roof, so I'm not sure about that. I like the size of it. It's pretty good. I'm going to have to do something a little different over here. I don't think I can just make one large window or it'll look kind of odd, so might have to do a series of windows with maybe some borders in between. I don't know. Or I might just put a couple of really small windows like there and there, 
and then just do lots of uh, work on the outside to add detail. Now this isn't, that isn't all I did. Um, inside I kind of made a little loft. I think I'm going to put supports down here. Uh, do I have any jungle on me? I do. I use jungle wood for this. I, I like it. A lot of people don't. I think it looks kind of cool. No, not there. Not there either. Well, actually... Actually, wait a minute. Do I have more? Can I make more? Yeah, okay. That mistake might have been good. Let's see. Kind of like that. Do I have any? Do not have any of those. Hmm. I think I wonder if I put a stair right here. A jungle wood stair. Uh, I have a workbench up above, but uh, I don't want to show that off yet. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, actually, I think I have some. I had to make room in my inventory for other things, and I put some there. Yes, I did. Look at that. All right. Ten four. I did that. Wrong wood. <laughs> Maybe it was another good accident. Yeah, let's see that. No, no, no. That's not going to do. I don't think either of them is going to do. Let's see. Can I make it go right in that corner? Mm. Doesn't want to. I could just put a half slab there. I know I got a half slab. As I do. I kind of like that. It's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to leave that for now anyway. See how it does on me. I don't think I need supports here. Because it's actually anchored to the wall. Um, same might be true for over there, but I doubt you could say that a whole loft is uh, anchored to a stair. Unless you're saying the loft is anchored to this wall. So you'd have anchors on this wall and this wall. And then this guy out here for the overhang. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's... By the way, I noticed this. My uh, villager died. A zombie must have got in here and uh, ended his life. So that was a short... <laughs> that was a short stay. I'm going to have to get a villager farm going. Um, I want to get some trading going. And the current village that I got over there is not very good. Well, let's say most of the villagers have died. And it's not entirely the village's fault. It's me not caring about their lives. <laughs> not offering any kind of protection. But I can go over there. I can get it fortified. I can bring a couple of villagers in either from another village or, you know, just by turning zombies and restart a population, which I might do. And then I want to get a villager of each type over here for trading. And then as I breed over there, I might find a villager that's better and then I could swap them out for another one. So let's check up here now. My little lofty lofty. I got orange carpet lining the top here. It's to cover... It's to cover that switch. Um, not sure I like the orange. It just made sense because orange kind of goes with jungle a little bit. Does the color seem to match a little? <laughs> I might just go for red here, but I wanted to try it out. It also kind of goes with this uh, glowstone too, or redstone lamp. Because there's lots of, a little bit of tan, orangey stuff in there. So it seems to go. But then, maybe I should just change this carpet? I don't know. This carpet's covering glowstone. Huh. But, um, I do like it. I like the glass. I like the overhang that I made with the uh, half slabs. I did that originally just to kind of hide this switch, but I like it. And then this is kind of a waste of quartz. I got quartz with these guys covering. I tried it without the covers, and uh, I just kind of didn't like it plain. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it with the covers for now. Tra <laughs> trap doors. They're not covers. They're trap doors. And that. So, 
Hmm. I could add, add another color over here, and then maybe I could get this gone. Like, I don't think I could just put a blue carpet here or a green carpet here, respective of nothing. I think I could put a green carpet here or a blue carpet here if I had something else blue or green over here, just to just to get my fashion sensibilities <laughs> settled. Although maybe the blue drip that's coming from the water above would satisfy. I don't know. I do think it looks pretty good. As it is now. It needs some tweaking. The first to say that. I can have my clock over here again. Look a little bit better over here. Although with this big huge window you don't really need a clock. <laughs> um... I wish it was nighttime so I could sleep and show you the nighttime. But I'm going to go and work on other stuff around here. I like this loft again. I might build a little area under here. Or what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get a stairway and landing going around this way. And maybe a couple of sets of rooms up here. Um, so give me a few minutes and I will be right back. Well then. Um... I have fashioned some new diamond thingies, <laughs> the technical term, and uh, where is it, there it is, and some new diamond armor because I just died. It was very unfortunate, very sad. During the build of my beautiful estate. I decided I needed quartz, so I went down into the nether with uh, my, my iron arm, diamond armor, excuse me, and my diamond pick and my diamond shovel and my diamond uh, axe and my diamond silk touch so I could get the ore. And I was doing my thing and I had about two stacks of di quartz ore. And, um, I did the thing you never do. I dug down. <laughs> it only took one block, and then I was falling, and I fell into the lava. And that fire protection that I got was actually very good. I survived uh, to shore with only maybe three or four hearts lost. And then a wither skeleton came, and he's like, huh, You think you beat us? think again and he withered me and but I defeated him and then I was down to two hearts and the wither went away and I was jumping around and I was trying to avoid everything and <laughs> and I still had the residual fire which was uh, going down a half heart going up half heart and long story short um, the nether won out and uh, I lost so I lost everything and I went back with the uh, a uh, invisibility potion and night vision and swiftness and fire resistance and I was going crazy and I was jumping around and nothing was getting to me but I could not find where I died so now I am enchanting new everything <laughs> uh, I will be back after the enchantments to show you what I got and to show you how the house is progressing see you soon okay so I've been out getting clay. I also found a dungeon and an abandoned mine shaft. They weren't altogether that interesting. They were kind of short, um, or I would have recorded them. The thing that did uh, pique my interest were these, not the squid. Looks like some air pockets that didn't. Uh, fill with water when the uh, world was originally spawned so I already tested this with one of the air pockets but as soon as it updates it goes away so one two and there it goes isn't that cool very interesting oh I'm drowning it's okay I forget where I got that trick from a little air pocket trick it might have been vintage beef Hmm, who can remember? There's <laughs> so many videos to see. Um, 
got Respiration 3, Aqua Infinity with one of the enchants I did. I also got Feather Falling 4 and Protection 3 on the other set of boots, which is very good. Um, this isn't the sword I generated. I actually got a... what was it? I'll check in a second when I show off the house. Um, again, that was what I already had stored up in my chest. I got an Efficiency 3, Diamond Shovel, eh. And a Unbreaking 3, Diamond Axe, eh. <laughs> so... Nothing to really write home about with those things, but the sword was decent. And I, on my pick, the one that I um, first one and enchanted was a silk touch to replace the silk touch I lost. So, yay me! I still got air. Amazing. Respiration three, man. It does the trick. Efficiency three. Yeah, when you're when you're above water. You dig down so fast that you hurt yourself from the fall. Air pocket. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to get a tiny, easy bit more clay. Because i got the room for it. And then I'm going to show you how my house looks so far. I think I'm going to end it with uh, my placing of this clay. Well, after I turn it into hardened clay. And then we'll continue to add tweaks as we progress through further episodes. Okay, so see you in another minute. Okie dokies. So I didn't change much on the outside, um, at least from what I last showed you guys. Um, I did add this little um, half slab of uh, spruce right there, just because it felt like it needed a lip. <laughs> I'm not done with this. It's going to need a lot of tinkering. I'm not sure if I want to extend it all the way to the end, because obviously then this shows. Um, I have to think about that. Although I could also, I could rim this with um, logs like uh, something like that on all four corners as a decorative thing. Um, but I'm not really sold on that yet, so I have to think about it. This is the pick that I created, just to prove I wasn't lying. And then all this, again, I showed you guys already. A couple protections, blast protection, projectile protection. So everything's pretty much covered, though. I think I'd rather focus on regular protection. Um, this is the sword that I engineered. <laughs> um, I have it in my inventory here because I lost the other one between the last time I spoke with you and now. Um, I think I was fighting something, and then for some reason I did that, and then walked away. <laughs> Maybe I thought I was getting out of the screen or something, so. It's okay, it was just Smite 4. It was like kind of an everyday sword, I'm not really too worried about it. So, again, I love that thing. Enough delay, let's go inside. Ooh, Ooh I lost a door, I'll fix that later. Okay, so, like I said before, I got kind of a landing thing I got in mind. This is the quartz that got me killed earlier. Um, I want to say it's worth it. I like the contrast between the ceiling, the quartz, and the jungle. Um, the ceiling, it isn't, it's made with the clay. It's cyan stained. It kind of looks like just a grayish kind of um, ceiling material. But it's better than just stone because it doesn't have as much... Um, pattern in it. It's more plain. I like it. I have to do something with lighting. Obviously these torches aren't going to do. I'm going to have to get creative. But I think it's coming along. Not sure if I want to put one of those posts over here. Technically I probably should, but I feel it's getting too busy because it's already got the stairs here. Uh, I have to think about that. I had to change the stairs going up to the attic. Um, originally they went this way, and they were all so over two more blocks. I just wanted them to have a more gradual entrance, so I moved them back and I enlarged it from two to three. I know. Not super exciting. <laughs> um, I had clay here, and I just don't like it. I might put some half slabs of something there. I could put stone half slabs there. It's just when you come in the door, 
you can see it the clay go back and it looks it looks odd but when you're here and you don't have the clay there it gets kind of cut off and it looks like just one large entrance upwards which I like even though it isn't so yeah I know it's a simple design but I think it looks pretty good I'll probably do something else over here maybe another lofty area maybe with another room or something I thought about setting up the villager training either up here or down here in like little booths. I have to figure that out. I did alter the uh, bedroom loft here a little bit. These are switches to extend pistons, which you will see in a second. And the pistons are acting, acting like light tables. I had seen somebody do this with glowstone. I used it with the redstone lamp big difference. <laughs> um, using the daylight uh, sensor to activate it. I saw a couple of tricks online on trying to power these things and it seems like this is the least obnoxious way because I don't want a big switch like right here on the side and I don't want to run redstone and blah 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 plus the redstone would probably interfere with this piston so I don't, I guess these are bookends, <laughs> but, um, like the uh, end tables, I don't know. I like the white contrast. I like the little overhang here for here. I could, uh, I think I'll put like a potted plant there, maybe a cactus. I don't know if, can you do that or is that too high with the, hmm, let me find out right now. And then maybe I could put a wither skull there. Because although it's creepy, they make good decoration. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, don't know my own strength. So far, so good. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I could put a cactus there or something. I like it. I don't like the dead bush there. That's just a little... Ugh. <laughs> but I think it comes pretty good. I don't think I showed this design before. I wasn't happy with the, um, the orange carpet, so I obviously changed that. And then I put the green all the way around. First I was like, eh, but now it's starting to grow on me. I've already changed it a couple times. I think I'm sticking with that. Got my little clock here. I saw how to make a grandfather clock out of a door and uh, such, and I might do that just for the funsies. And this is all the materials that I kind of worked and all the orange carpet that I wasted. I'll have to use it for something else. I can't just waste that much. All right. I think that's that episode. We did a lot here. I feel like we made a lot of progress today. And like I said before, we will tinker. This is not done by a long shot. And I need some kind of windows here because it's just... Is the big wall and nothing is just not going to do it. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a pleasant day. Goodbye.